you do realize if that was Netflix Daredevil, he would have been dead. On today's show, we're going to be talking about Hasbro's Marvel Legends series, The Punisher. But first, good morning, folks. I'm your host, Chris Correspondent. And today we're going to be talking about last week's PostCon. Let's start with the new upcoming Spider-Man wave. They didn't give us all the figures, but they did show us a few. Let's start with this Gwen Stacy figure. I love this head sculpt because um, when that movie did come out, Hasbro, they dropped a two-pack with her and Miles Morales. But all it was was basically the older Spider-Gwen slapped with the label of Enter the Spider-Verse. And here we have um, Miles Morales. Love that head sculpt. Looks just like the cartoon. And we have the Hand Ninja. Stiltman is the the bath, the builder figure. Stiltman. Who who asked for Stiltman? Stiltman. Remember the fan vote that they gave us this summer? Silk won. I did not vote for Silk. And I don't understand why you guys voted for Silk, especially when Valkyrie was part of a five pack. Silk was already single carded. That doesn't make sense. I understand why no one voted for the Electra. But why, why do you guys go for Valkyrie? That doesn't make sense. Think about your shelf. Let's go to some Star Wars stuff real quick. Yo, yo, <laughs> yo. This figure is dope. <laughs> Look at this one right here. Another Boba Fett. Definitely got to have this one. Getting back to the Marvel stuff. It's supposed to be, it's bring on the bad guys. And here they said bring on the bad guys. And they give us a bad guy that we already have. It's all right, whatever. It's, it's Dora Mumu in his classic outfit. Up next, we have Arcade. Definitely, a, 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 he's a classic villain. He's been across the board. So hopefully with this character, with this figure being made, we'll get some Avengers, Avenger Arena characters. Because we already got Nico. So this, will, this is a figure, hopefully, is a big deal. I already like him. Last but not least, Thanos Deluxe. I love it. I want him. Up next, oh yeah, another Walgreens exclusive. Easy pass for me. <laughs> Easy pass for me, guy. The most customized act, this is the most customized female action figure ever. I've seen so many people make this figure. And guess what? It's over. It's over for you guys. <laughs> finally, finally we've been waiting for this figure. But this one looks good right here. Gotta have her. I got to have her. Looking at the X-Men retro Gambit. But this is a new Gambit. His colors are more animated series. So if you missed out on that Gambit, this is another opportunity to get him. And if you're a Gambit collector, now you'll have two Gambits in your collection. And a Rogue, oh. Oh gosh, what? <laughs> let, me, let me explain something about Rogue to you guys right now. Rogue, for some reason, skyrocketed out of nowhere, people. I don't know what happened. I seen Rogue peg warm, and now her prices are crazy. This is now this is the Magneto that I wanted. He's perfect because we have that we have the Cyclops, we have the Emma Frost, and we have the Magic. So this I'm I'm looking forward to this one. Next up we have 2021's Professor X up here. This is based off the House of X. This is Professor Xavier. It's a cool helmet. It's basically a black body, and it's probably gonna be that same Professor X head. And now we have a Mario. This is Mario McTaggart, and she played a big role in the House Effect. Moving on to the figures that I told them to make. Yes, the Hellfire Guards. Thank me now. I, I want my thank yous. Now coming up next, which will, this, this wave is gonna be released this year. Some people say they're, they're, they may possibly get it as early as October 2nd, but this is the Mr. Fix-It wave. Hulk in the suit is the bath. We have this Falcon. And here we have the stealth Captain America from the game reverse. It can never be too many different Iron Man armors for me. Iron Man armor, nice blue, it's clean. And up next, more comic book, Thunderstrike. Definitely a good addition to, to your collection of Thors. Jacosta. And 
she comes with the body. When it comes to the female sculpt, I'm a fan of the, of the thick body sculpt. That's what, what, what I call it. And it looks like she may have it, but she looks good. This Kang the Conqueror. Oh man, he looks good. And that, and you're gonna fix him. You're gonna get all these figures and you're gonna make the Mr. Fix-It. Let me, let me be clear, it's the Game Reverse Hulk. Moving on to Transformers. You know, I'm not a big Transformers guy, but they did, was some stuff that caught my attention during this PulseCon. Um, I, I'm really, I can't wait to get my hand on one of these um, robot enhanced guys right here, the red ones, because basically they don't transform, but they're 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 Transformers in, a, in figure mode. And pff, that's Cheetor from Beast Wars. I'm not too familiar with Beast Wars. I'm a G1 guy, but I, I want them. I won all of these. And that's RC from Transformers Prime, a slept on series. And moving on to something else a little robot related, the Power Rangers. You know, I dabble in a few of these, but here's something that's cool. These are 12 inch deluxe figures. And it makes sense to, to bring the Zords out. If you're a Power Ranger Lightning Collection guy, you are gonna be in for a treat. They have the villains coming out. And I was say, I was thinking to myself, I was like, that line doesn't have enough villains. And here's some upcoming Power Rangers. Like, anyway, up next, they have been, G.I. Joe has become the bane of collectors everywhere right now. Target exclusives. <laughs> Firefly and, and, and the Vipers. It looks crazy. Look at those crazy eyes, man. But it, it comes with some interesting accessories. The G.I. Joe online community is toxic and it, and it is a pain in the ass and they get on my nerves, but I understand where they're coming from. I understand where they're coming from. To, to want this, man, troop building, man. No one's gonna buy just one of these. The more of these that are available, the more that will sell. So why are they, why are we doing this exclusive shit? Put it on Pulse. Ugh, this Cobra Command, Emperor Cobra Commander, I don't know what they're calling them, but you know, you know, they, I'm just waiting for them to add the, where's the hood? I want I want the hooded Cobra Commander. These exclusives would be great. Like this is a deluxe one. He's gonna come in the big box the way they did the snake guy. How awesome would it have been instead of that stupid globe over there in that lame ass pistol why not just give us the hooded head come on it's cobra commander Ugh, another trooper and zartan yes finally good luck with this one these new this this next wave i could almost see people going batshit crazy in the stores for these ones because they look good good luck happy hunting zartan holds a special place in my heart because i learned about Betrayal with Zartan. When I was younger, my younger brother took my Zartan to school and he lost him. I was never able to see him again. And only I thought to myself, is this what Cain felt about Abel? You hurt me, Eric. You hurt me deep. Punisher stands at six and a half inches. The Punisher includes a beat up second head, this badass helmet, a baseball bat and a machete, this Uzi, sawed off shotgun, a Mac 10, and this motorcycle. And that includes all of Punisher's accessories. Actually, let's take it from the top. We have neck articulation, vertical, horizontal, shoulders, ball hinge, bicep swivel, Double elbows, wrists, and it hinges for the pointing finger. That's good. Now let's go to the midsection. Abdomen crunch. We have no waist articulation. No waist articulation at all. Ball hip, rotating thigh, double knee, ankle, hinge, and pivot. And that is the articulation of the Punisher. When I first 
initially messed with this figure, I was like, wait a minute, it doesn't articulate at the waist. I, I, don't, I hate when they take articulation away. But this figure still managed to, to keep my attention and I, I enjoy taking pictures of it. Overall, it's an amazing figure, especially the accessories. That's, that bike alone, that bike is cold. It, it, man, this is the best rider out of all the rider series. This is probably the best motorcycle I've seen. Finally, thank you for having real guns instead of those goofy laser spaceship shits. This Punisher is is, is kicking ass and, and not he doesn't take name, he kills you. Remember, Punisher don't take you to jail. He'll blow your brains up. I did have a little heartburn with the lack of waist articulation. Just because I felt like if I could have, I would have had different poses. I would have had some good poses with that waist articulation. But it doesn't take away because if for them taking that away, the accessories balance it out. So what is this figure gonna get? Yes, people, another 10. Good morning. I love this Punisher. Based off the accessories and just the overall sculpt and adding them to the collection. Look at this Punisher now. This Punisher is official now. With happy hunting. Remember, um, I take pics. Follow me, I'll follow you back. We'll see you next week.